let's rewind. Danica got her braces on over the summer, so it's been about um, four to five months. My daughter Danica was not thrilled originally with the idea of getting braces, but she knew it was necessary for her long-term oral care and smile. We do complimentary examinations of our patients, sit them down, let them know what they may or may not need, how long the treatment's going to take, what we foresee happening in treatment. The next step after that is to get some diagnostic uh, workup with the patient, which includes a couple x-rays, some molds or impressions of the teeth, and some photographs. Basically that just verifies what um, what the examination showed us and or might point out some things we may have missed. Um, I'm, I'm a good orthodontist but I don't have x-ray vision. And the next step from there is usually to get the braces started. So we'd set up a date to get the braces on and then once we're in braces the typical interval to see a patient is about every six to eight weeks. Danica just got her braces on so tell me what you thought about that. Uh, I didn't like the thing you put in your mouth. The retractor? Yeah. Why? Did it make you feel like you were all stretched out? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You gotta make sure your teeth are really dry. And guess what's usually in your mouth? Really oh, wet. Know. You got it. <laughs> and then put the brace on, you probably didn't feel much of anything. Right? There. No? And then we put wires on and you pick pretty colors, right? It took about a week or two to get used to my braces. Oh uh, well, at first it was kind of hard because like, my teeth are a lot, but then it like after a couple of days, it got better and a lot easier. And now are you used to them? Yes. What do they feel like now? Nothing. Just normal? Yes. The biggest challenges we found so far was initially she did have some mouth sores and some rubbing. She used the, the wax that was provided by the staff to help with that as well as some mouth rinse that was provided by the staff that helped get rid of some of the mouth sores. Uh, the other challenges have been changing some of the foods that she's able to eat and some of the foods she likes to eat. She really does like to eat apples. We have to cut them up all the time now, which is a little bit different. Um, but other than that, it's been pretty simple. I have to avoid eating sticky candy and biting into the apple and eating nuts. You don't really miss anything? Nothing's been a real problem? Is anything good about having braces? Our teeth is straight. I'm here with Danica and she just had her first adjustment and typically um, your first couple appointments are pretty simple. Uh, usually we're just moving up to different size arch wires so actually this one's yeah. just a little larger and a little stiffer but it's still really flexible and soft. Okay how's it feel right now? Just a little tighter. A little tighter yeah so she may be you know a little tender for a day or two usually recommend ibuprofen, 6 to 800 milligrams every 4 to 6 hours. Um, you know, and usually that's only needed for a day or two. As she gets used to this, there may be appointments she won't need that at all. Danica's case is a bit unique. Uh, she does have some baby teeth that are kind of in the way of our treatment, so she's going to get those removed here in a few weeks. So next time I see you, our girl will turn into a young lady because you'll have all your baby teeth gone. For every time we have an appointment, she's sore for a day or two, but then adjusts real quickly to whether it's the new bands or, or the rubber bands that she has to wear or the new appliance she puts in, but she's adjusting very well. We've had a few things take place since we last saw Danica. Every once in a while we have to do some things that I have to refer people out to, to a specialist, to a dentist, an oral surgeon, etc. And in her case, she needed a couple baby teeth out. Well, let's look at the good side though. We made some space for your teeth to come down. We have to change our colors today. We're actually mm -hmm. gonna do full wires today. We're actually also going to start showing some rubber bands. Now, the wires and the braces will straighten your teeth out nicely, and I do a great job of that. But the rubber bands are actually going to fix your bite and get, take care of that underbite that we were just talking about. Okay? And she's kind of at a point in treatment where we're going to wait for some teeth to come in. So we've kind of been seeing her frequently here over the summer because I know she likes to see me. But school's starting, and I know we'll be waiting for some teeth to come in. I know I'll be waiting for you to wear your rubber bands well. I'm going to push her out about eight to ten weeks at this appointment. Sometimes in treatment we have to shorten up our time. Sometimes we can lift up, let the leash out a little bit. But this is a time where we can let you go a little bit. I, I'm sure you're going to miss us. <laughs> My appointments have been every five to ten weeks. Once I come in, I check in, and then they bring me back. Since my last appointment, my teeth were sore for a couple of days, but now I'm fine. The hardest part about having braces was getting my teeth pulled and realizing I need oral surgery. I really like being able to switch my band colors. 
I like to match them with events I have coming up. After I come back, the assistant takes my old wires and bands off. We're looking at moving up into stronger wires. We start with really flexible wires, move up to stronger wires. We're making some space for some teeth that are stuck in our upper jaw. Um, and there'll be a point in treatment when we have enough space for that. And we're in a stronger wire. We'll actually do something called a surgical exposure. She has a tooth that's actually stuck in her upper jaw. So we need help, uh, the help of an oral surgeon to help us get that tooth uh, dislodged and brought down into place. We're trying to not only align the teeth, but or close any spacing of the teeth, which is pretty obvious. Most people think of braces as fixing crooked teeth. We are doing that, but we're also aligning the upper and lower jaw so they match one another, as well as match to the, to the skull. Danica's case is going very well. She's doing a great job of keeping her teeth clean, which is one of probably the most important things that we ask for uh, as an orthodontist. Uh, her mom's been great at getting her to, to her appointments, which is another thing. If you make all your appointments, your treatment usually goes smoothly. She's also worn some rubber bands to help move her bite around. Again, if you do what your doctor and assistants ask of you, your treatment usually goes very smoothly. And so far, I'm very happy with where we're at. The best part of the whole experience for me has been the, the friendliness and ease of the office staff and their accommodations for our family and our needs within our family. But then also seeing the improvements in Danica's smile already and her movement of her jaw and, and, the, and the maturity that we see already in the few months that she's had the braces on. Danica's been a wonderful patient. Her treatment is supposed to last about two years. Most braces last about two to two and a half years and she's a pretty routine case. If she's done this well, five months in or so, I, I suspect her treatment's going to go, go well. Um, like I said, she's already started to see some of the improvements of her teeth and usually that's a good motivation to keep the patient on track.